Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one tutorial, we learn about how to work with arguments with click, right? So in your previous tutorial, we learned about options, and then options are optional, but arguments are necessary and then they are positional. So now let's see how to work with it. So it's going to be with import click, then I'm going to create my click command that is going to receive all my commands, and I'm going to create my first function. So it's going to be main, then pass or print something real click dot echo right to echo something out so something like hello something perfect i'm going to create my simple if main which is referring to this particular function so perfect so that's some the basic idea about it but the basic idea about it now how do we work with arguments so to work with argument it says follow the same sentence like the options follow but it's going to be click dot argument instead of options for argument then i go to supply the argument so let's give it as a name. So if I go with name, I can supply the name inside here, right? And then by, by convention, the argument doesn't go with dash dash, it just goes straight away with name. Then I can do something like this dot format name, or I can use fspring if I want. If you want, you can also use fspring. And I'm going to supply whatever stuff I want to do there, right? Perfect. So if I run this particular function that I have, so Python custom CLI, then I go straight away with this. It's going to tell me that I need an argument. So missing argument name, right? So arguments are, are necessary, they are a must. So it's telling me that I'm missing something. Then it's going to tell me the particular stuff I'm missing. So one of the ways of solving this is to supply a default, right? So I can supply a default here. So default, let's give it as J carries. So that in case now if I run it without any argument, it's going to take the default for us. But in case I use my own name, my argument is going to use that argument. So that is the method of working with arguments, right? Very interesting. Perfect. So that is something simple can do. Now let's see how to work with it in something interesting. So I'm just going to change this one from name to number. Right? And then here it's going to go straight away with this. So this is going to be number one. Then let's replicate re this. Number two, number three. This is going to be number two. And this is going to be our method, right? Or our question, whatever we want to do. It's our method, what we want to do. So with this particular server, I'm now going to pass this here as number. Remember that they are positional. So you have to be careful about name. Number one. Then number two, right? Perfect. Then I need to supply my method. Now we are done with it. So how do I use it? So to use it, I'm just going to go with if my method is equal to SAR, right? And I want to do something. What do I want to do? I want to give me the results of number one plus number two, right? And I want you to click dot echo my result. So if I save it and I run it here, now it's no more receiving a name now it's receiving a number so if i go with click then i supply the number like we say 20 and then 40 perfect right so that's missing argument so the method is i miss the method so to solve this you can just bring the default default is going to be let's say add right perfect. or i can just go and supply my default number so if i go with this and i don't supply it to automatically take it and notice that this gave me as 2040. It is seeing it as a string, right? So the other method of working with of using this function is just go with this add, and it's still going to do the same thing. But it's seeing it as a string. So how do we solve it? So there are two options of solving it. You can either pass these ones into 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 int, right? To convert them to integers from here. Right? That is one of the methods. We, in case I run it now, it's not going to give me 24, it's going to give me 60. That's one of the ways of making it. But click give you the option of not only just using it here, but you can also use it here. You can also use it from, from the top here. So instead of me putting it here, right, as we have here, you can put it here. So you can define the particular data type here by going with type. Then it what can be float in your there. So if I go straight away, I don't need to declare it again because I've already de defined it at the top of it at the point that it received the argument. 
if I run a particular stuff, it's still going to give me the same option of 60. So that's one nice thing about it. So that is how to work with arguments, right? So you can duplicate this and make it multiple stuff. So let's say else if then this is going to be from for subtraction. Sorry. Subtraction. Subtract and then multiply. Right, perfect. So this and this. This is going to be minus and then this is going to be multiplied. Perfect. So if I run this again, now I can make it as subtract. I know how to spell subtract. I'm going to subtract the negative and I can also do multiply. It's going to work perfectly for us. So in case I want to give it information about it, I can use the dot string star and give it the, an example. So let's say add number one and number two something like this right so if i go with this particular stuff and i supply it as help let's give me that particular documentation right add number one and two which was found here that's one nice now so that is how to work with it so in case you want to work with multiple values right they call it variadic values how do you do that? So let's comment this one out. This entire stuff out, and then let's work with the variadic values, right? So it's going to be like this. Click with command. Then okay, we're just going to give our particular value that we have set like this going to be. Let me copy this one. Right, and then this we are not going to call it as number, let's give it something like our source or let's say our source, and this is going to be our argument to so N A R G. Right? So number of arguments we want to supply. So the best way is to just go with negative one. So if you go with negative one, it's going to eat up everything, it's going to receive everything. Even if you give it a thousand, it's still going to receive it until this negative zero. Then I'm just going to do another one, which is going to be for our next argument, NARGS is equal to 1, then this is going to be for our destination, so destination. Okay, so let's create a function to do that. So we'll get main, then it takes the argument of the source and then the destination. Then I'm going to do something to so for f in our source. So I want you to do something. What do I want to do? I want to do click dot echo, and I'm just I just want you to move something. So moving, I can't spell moving. Yes, I'm moving my file, whatever file, to folder or to directory dot format. You can use S string if you want. So what am I going to supply? I'm supplying the F, then my destination. So that is how to work with it. So if I run this particular option here, it's Python, a custom CLI. Now I can supply, so at least I want to move file one, the TST, and file two, that the TST, to work for that, to my folder. So let's see what we want to do. Perfect. So move file one to, to, to folder, my folder, blah, blah, blah. It can supply thousands of values. So let's supply. File 3.txt, file 4.txt, and it's still going to work all of them. Perfect. So that's how to work with different multiple values, right? Variadic values or options in this particular package. It's a particular package copy. So thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, can you please add a comment section so that everyone can find it? And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay